Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Golden Sun. In the last part, we entered Mount Elf. And this part, well, we can't even go to Mount Elf and hopefully find the secret that we're looking for. And already we have a battle. Sure, I'll probably... Okay. So... Okay, so... This is going to be the first episode I have where I'm not doing this in, on the day I'm going to post it. I'm probably going to wait and put this off tomorrow. So they can just feel like recording this right now. Oh, see, so you tried to run, but you didn't get away, thankfully. And here, let me show you to your... Oh, I already tried to hear last episode. Okay. Yeah, so... Not much to talk about right now. <laughs> How are you guys doing? I don't know if you'll actually comment, but... Just saying. If you do... Yeah. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I'll say that in really far advance. Oh, and that's something else you should know. If... Someone is... More than one people targeted the same enemy, and the enemy dies before people have attacked, they'll just defend. They'll automatically switch to defend as soon as that enemy is dead. So that's something to keep in mind. And there we go. That, that took way too long. Okay, so... In the last part we got the stone jewel. There we go, uh, Jenica's drill. <laughs> that, 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 yeah, okay, yay! Okay, so, sorry about that. Anyways... Uh, I don't remember where you're supposed to go exactly. Oh, yeah, this room. Four statues. Hmm. It doesn't look like we'll be able to come, we can reach them from here. Perhaps energy is the key. I say try using your synergy. Okay, so... This is where you're supposed to use move. Like that, but... Anyways, there's only two doors behind all these statues. The one of them is this one. However, there is nothing behind that door. Like, absolutely nothing. It's just a hallway, and it goes in circles. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, it's, I think it's this one. No, it's the second from the right. Go figure. Oh. Joy. Oh, you can see what's behind them now, anyways. I'm guessing, I think the Minotaur is behind one of these. When you put this on your one. And, is it this one? Yes, it is. It's this one. Thank you. Okay, so... And so you put this one in again, and it opens up a door on the far side of the room, which I opened the second, I believe. Second from the right? We'll see in a second. Uh, so, this dungeon is kind of annoying, because I've done it so... Oh, it's the far right one, I was right. Anyways, this dungeon can get very annoying, since it's very... Uh... Okay, there's a new enemy in this fight, so I'm going to keep it in. Anyways, that last enemy you see is an amaze. I don't believe they can do anything relatively bad at this point in the game. So, there's nothing to worry about, really. Uh, okay, so... Yeah, I don't love synergy. It makes everything so much easier. Oh, why do you need to go that? Okay. You also don't think this point in the game is too terribly hard. It's just kind of... annoying. So you just want to get on the real game, but you're kind of stuck in this annoying little... It's short, we're, pretty, we're more than halfway through this dungeon already. We're probably gonna- the later dungeons can get pretty long, but... This one isn't so bad. I'm, I'm just complaining about it, because I've restarted this game several times and never actually begun anywhere. Oh, here we go. This is it, we found it! Not along. Clearly, this is the mark of the sun, the heart of soul sanctum. And it's the sun and soul. It's just what I imagined, which means those two were telling the truth. Which means they've been in here, and we know why already. Dramatic irony. But if what they said was true, then that means they have, must have been... You, Captain Obvious. They were happy. Well, they were the thieves. They came to rob the sanctum. Oh my gosh, Captain Obvious. Sergeant... I don't know. <laughs> Let's hurry back to the village and tell everyone. Riot, riot, riot. Gran, what's the matter? He's too fascinating to do. We're so, we're so close. Close? Close to what? We've come all this way to this heart of Soul Sanctum and to turn it back and leave. There's something wrong with that? Hmm. Da da da. Soul Sanctum holds the origins of alchemy. It would be a waste to. to turn around. What do you think? Shall we go a little bit further? We probably shouldn't. Oh boy. We need to go back to the village about me. Creighton, angry. If you put it that way, we don't have much choice. 
I'm with Fran. I want to look inside. Oh, now you're with Fran. Really? Oh, I guess I feel a bit further. Good, that's decided. Let's go to bed. Okay, so there's one hallway. You got it this way. And it's the moon. The sun and moon. Get it? What? What is this firm? There's a moon in the center. A picture of Luna. This must symbolize the night. No, duh, Captain. Oh, never mind. This room is connected somehow, don't you think? Yep, pretty much. Luna and Soul. These rooms must full of had some secret. What could it be? What does it all mean? Isaac, will you look further at the passage? Sure. Let me know what you find. And he stares at the wall. So very helpful. Anyways, you want to head up here. And actually, to your. Actually, I'll show that later in a little bit. The first thing you're probably gonna want to do is move one of these statues, but don't do it since it'll trigger the trap that happened three years ago. Well, spoiler alert, you're gonna figure that out in five seconds. But then Crane will come up to you and make you move it back, and it's a waste of time pretty much. So, what you're supposed to do is move these statues in place so that they shine there. You run around here, you can move the other statue also. Oh my gosh. And that will shine in the same spot, which will make a hole. Two lights equals a hole, apparently. Anyways, then you come up this way, and use a move on this statue to pull it down into the hole. And that was a very heavy statue, apparently. Something clicked. Gee, I wonder what that was. Anyways, you're gonna come, now you can come back here and move these without any fear of a storm attack, a storm appearing, and a boulder crushing the village again. What? What's happening? Isaac must have found something. <laughs> you found it, Isaac. Uh, when we get over there, why are we over there? Cretan! Excellent work, Isaac. <laughs> Where did that hole come from? It was always there. When Isaac moved those statues, the two beams of light shot out from them, and then a hole appeared in the floor. And Isaac dropped the statue in there after that. Hmm. Good work, everyone. So the statue puzzle was the trap. Hmm? And that other statue is here, too. Disarm the trap. And now that you've disarmed it, we should be alright. Should? I'll observe from the lunar room where it's safe. You handle the rest. And it's not safe in here. Okay, so now you're just gonna want to drop these last four statues into place. I don't believe you have to watch... Yeah, you don't have to watch the annoying cutscene again every single time. Since we've watched enough cutscenes so far in this game, believe me. And so, after dropping this last one into the place... Oh, cool. Why didn't I move a dying one? <laughs> you learn something new every day. Okay, so, and before going down, I'm gonna recommend you come down here, and go in here, where you'll see that purple stone. I reckon, I'm gonna recommend, uh, uh, I recommend you heal up before touching the stone. You're not gonna get into a fight or anything, but it, re it recovers all your, your entire party's PP all the way, and so you have full stats afterwards. It's very useful, that's why I said earlier in the first part, I love synergy zones, because they are very, very useful. Anyways, we'll come down here and see that the Luna room has changed the soul. Look, Isaac, the picture of the Luna changed the soul. But other than that, nothing looks different. That's strange. They went to the trouble of putting the trap here, and this is all that happens? Somewhere, something else must have changed. We must find it. Okay, so you come over here. That was hard. Look, the symbol of the floor is changed from Soul to Luna. Thank you. Oh, no, no, no. Surely there must be something in this room. Oh my gosh, it's so painfully obvious. Anyway, you approach this little beam on the wall, which I'm not sure where it's coming from. I guess that's because of the graphic limitations of the Game Boy. <laughs> oh, this has to be it. Let's go, Isaac. And so you hop into the portal, which you've no idea what it'll do. You know, last time something like this happened. Oh, sorry, I skipped that But Something that's in what has happened, there was a giant storm, and Boulder killed Jenna's family, and there's things that are gonna do to do it again. Well, of course, they've gotten further than 
Satras and Murari so far, so mm -hmm. no one's ever seen this before, theoretically. And all this is in a mountain. Is that ice? Or I think it's ice. But I'm not sure. But where are we? Well, you took a sweet time. Is that the ocean? No, it couldn't be. The ocean has waves. Um, well, the water's moving. <laughs> the ocean, what's that? Well, the ocean is a thing of endless water at the end of the world. The end of the world? You would not understand. Someday I'll show it to you myself. Nod. Okay. Whatever. Okay, Crown, hurry it up. We've got a time limit here. Hmm? The element of stars. If they really exist, the element of stars exist. You taught us about those. Elementals elements are the foundation of all matter. Hey, it's like chemistry. Stones, wood, even us, all things made from those four elements. Yep, sure why not. Actually no, but yeah. <laughs> In real life there's way more than the four elements. As I have told you many times, the elements are the source of all matter. That's what earth, water, fire, and wind. These are the four elements. And here are air and their history. Legend holds that the four elemental stars contain the purified existence of each element. As the essence of this is, whatever. And now, those legendary stones are before us. And you, you get to see them. The Venus star, the elemental stone of earth. Mercury star, possessing the power of the water's many forms. There is the Mars star, glowing red for the fire contained within. And the Jupiter, bound of the wind's fury. Someone's in taste by Elvis Cradden. Why are you getting so excited? How can you be so common in the face of such wonders? You're looking at the very source of all alchemy. Huh? Have I told you this before? No, we're gonna be stupid now. That must be a lot for you to take in. <laughs> Are you calling me stupid? <laughs> the Wisdom Stone. The Stone of Sages. Hmm? Oh my gosh. The stone dominates everything. Oh, sure. It can transmute crude matter into gold and even the work death itself. The Philosopher's Stone from Harry Potter. You can understand now, don't you? Yes, yes I do. The study of alchemy began with the search for this fairy stone. I don't like it how it works, but they have enormous power, right? Beyond the norms of a single gem, one could conquer the world. Hello. Now perhaps you begin to understand. Da -da -da. Nope, not really. <laughs> Don't scare me like crime, I'm not even being serious. <laughs> Conquering the world. Who can say what the truth is? <gasps> Let's freak out while looking at each other. That's why I've been searching for the elemental stars. I seek to learn the truth about these stones. And now they lie before me. Oh, Grad, don't fall. We don't know what that water is. Whoa. Like he's too old to be jumping in like this. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. careful, Grad. It looks slippery. Oh my gosh, really? <laughs> Bet like that, Jenna. But I must examine the elemental stars. Sorry, you couldn't understand that. Like, make the boys do it. Oh, thanks. Really? <laughs> really? Oh, I couldn't ask. Would you mind? Keep me coming to be concerned for you, right, Isaac? Sure. Thank you. Okay, I'm running low on time. Yes, we shall have to leave this, Isaac. Just give me the bag and we can go on our way. You better than a dollar, right, Ken? Oh my gosh, cutting it so close. Shut up. What are these bags? Oh, uh, shut up. They're made of woven dirt and material. Ah! Yeah, okay. I put in the sophistication. Uh, okay, fetch the elemental stars and put them in the bag. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you later now. Bye.